So here we are with an International Pro Star with an ISX engine. So we got here a leaking fan hub, and the way to tell is turning on the key and listening for it. All right, turning the key on. So when you turn the key on, either you're going to be leaking from the fitting that goes to the actual hub itself or through the O-rings internally. So it's bypassing it and coming out. So in this case, it's coming out of the O-rings internally. So th the hub will need to be replaced as an assembly. So looking at the top here, you can see the other point of leakage. If it's leaking from there, it'll be an easy fix. Take that off and get a socket on it. But you want to check that first just to make sure it's not coming from the hub itself. So far, we loosened up this belt, got that set aside. All right, see how that one's got a bolt on it? Went ahead and undid that bolt. We're gonna take off this tensioner right here. Now we can go ahead and unravel the belt. Next step, we're gonna to wanna to take this upper fan shield off. 13 millimeter head bolts. This will separate. Lift it up. Take and I just take my screwdriver right here, lift it up, pull it out. Same thing on this side. That's two clips. There we go. Let's take the screwdriver, it's a quick connect, push it in there, and now don't drop your tools. Don't drop those tools, go fishing. Now it's time to take off that fan. We got all the nuts on the outside right there. Beautiful. We're we using a 9 16 Loosen them all up. God, you're sweating, huh? Shoot. Yeah, I'm working on the, under the clouds, you know? Oh, yeah. Working on that burn right now. Yeah, you working on that burn. Uh, solar panels heating up. <laughs> zip tie going on the belt just to make sure it doesn't move. We got a real skinny guy that's going to make some magic happen. And they're both in here. Three bolts. Four bolts. Right here's one. One, two, three, four. It's kind of hard to see but we got four bolts right there. And this skinny fool could just fit between the radiator and the front of the engine. I'm going to go ahead and this one right here. The bottom. Size bolts. It's an 18 millimeter head. I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I can make the same noise. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this top one. And we're gonna go ahead and loosen this one up in the bottom. Just loosen it up, not take it off. 
And there it is. Pull that bastard out. Get some muscles, lift that sucker up. And the reason you loosen it up, the reason you loosen it up is because of this. this is the guide. Pretty much you just. So that ahead. bottom bolt sits on the guide. You see where that belt comes in handy? Now we're just gonna lift up the other one in place and do the same exact thing. Drop it in. Okay, now we got the belt. Attached to the new one, we got the zip tie on there, we got air on the hub. Now we're gonna go ahead and lift it up and probably done. Big hunk of joint going in. As you can see, it's heavy and hard to maneuver around. But once you got that stud on that bottom right there, you can go ahead and slide that retainer on the bottom bolt. It sits right in place. Somebody else tried and it didn't quite stay. I know you just put it all back together. Hey, <laughs> bastard what are we gonna do yeah we'll just leave it all right guys you're about to see a real life fishing story right here it's a snapper oh shoot there it is oh man reunited with its owner sometimes you just gotta feel around like the drunk a lot of party it's all in my ice all the sweat yeah Crazy idea is it to work outside. Mine. Don't you know it's over a hundred? Is it? Oh. All right, so we're taking the belt off. We don't need it anymore. Perfect time to replace it if you need. Now, when you go to take this apart, there'll be some inner seals right along in here, and that's where it usually leaks. Not past just the clutch plate, but past the inner seals right around here. So usually when you have the key on, you'll be able to hear it going kind of hissing out. And then as you spin the fan blades, you'll know it's coming from there. But like I said, always remember, check that fitting first to make sure it's not coming from that fitting. Because you don't want to do all this for nothing. See where it goes around.
muscle. We got a 13 millimeter right there. And pure muscle. Beautiful over the alternator. Follow the pattern. Make sure it's on everywhere. That was looking good. All right, same for the fence. There is the new clutch assembly right there. The new fan hub assembly. We get new nuts and hot washers, but we don't get flat uh, washers, so we're gonna reuse those. Just sits on those studs. So flat washers all the way around. Total of six of them. And now we're gonna get these lock washers on there just to make sure nothing backs off. And then we're gonna sweat like crazy because uh, that's how hot it is. Now, if you got a Detroit or a Cummins, this is pretty similar. It really doesn't matter, they both use the same. So, the techniques, pretty damn close. Except the body part, so, fit in there. Yeah. Only a skinny guy fits in there. Only a skinny guy can fit in there. I can't believe he did. Look, look how thin this is. That guy's crazy. What is he, a <laughs> Damn toothpick needs to need more hot pockets. <laughs> Tighten everything down good and tight. Once you're done, go back over it and just double check everything. You don't want to skip anything. Count your bolts, make sure they all got slapped around. Always use a new fitting. Ratty Tuddy Lefty Lucy. Can't trust the old quick disconnects because you know they're always going to fail. Get that line back on there. We're gonna make sure it's snug and it's not gonna blow off. Get the loom back over there, extra protection. Wrap it up, you know. We're gonna snap this back in place. Same thing on the other side. How did you know you got it for him? Can I get that? Uh, really? <laughs> Shoot. And I love it. 
Yeah, because it was free. I'd love anything that was free. So right now everything's put back on, as you can see. Everything is good. Double check everything. Don't want to leave any tools behind or any body parts. So we're looking good. Now the only thing left to do is start it up, make sure it engages, and then make sure it also disengages. We don't want it stuck on. All right. So right now the air is out, so it'll be engaged right away. <laughs> It's not leaking anymore. It's looking good. So remember, this is for your international. So that's, it. that's how you replace a fan hub assembly on a international pro star. Now, some people like to rebuild them. I don't just because for the for the time it takes you, it's just not worth it. You know, just slapping a new one on there is so much easier. It's you're probably spending about a grand, but maybe 1200 bucks labor few hours rebuilding it add a couple more hours on there it's just not worth it all right guys if you like what you saw don't forget subscribe like and share these videos because i can't do it without you all right stay safe out there stay hustling make that money